Hi, if this is your first time here, welcome to my YouTube channel. Or if you're like me and you've been here before, welcome back. Today's the day I'm gonna complete the promise and actually show you guys how I made the solid heart in the crochet mesh like I did on the panel of my cardigan that I'm making. Let me just get this in focus so you guys can see it. We're gonna be making that little heart in today's video. It's just gonna be a tiny sample since as you can see I already did make the panels of the of the cardigan and this is going to be the same heart that's going to be on the sleeve which I'm actually working on it right now so that's going to be in my next video but like I said today we're going to be making a solid heart in crochet mesh so please join me in the next clips as we see how this comes together and if you'd like please follow along and make a make a solid heart in mesh along with me so before starting the project, I chained 18 chains and made 17 single crochet stitches. So I skipped that first chain closest to the hook, of course, as you do. And then my second row was my mesh pattern with the double crochet, where I double crochet one, chain one, double crochet one, chain one. Now I'm starting the second row where, as you can see, I've marked off my middle stitch for the center of the heart and I'm just continuing with my mesh pattern of double crochet one, chain one, double crochet one, chain one and once I reach that middle stitch, I'm actually just going to do the regular double crochet in that post and then I'm not going to chain one, I'm going to chain, I'm going to do three double crochets in that center stitch just to create the bottom peak of the heart and then I'll just continue with my mesh pattern like normal so after these three double crochets instead of chaining one I'll just double crochet into that next post and then chain one and double crochet in my mesh pattern I just want to point out that I'm doing a stacked single crochet for each row so as you can see I start off with a single crochet like normal and then I go into that back loop of the single crochet to be able to pick up a loop and make that second single crochet on top and then I just chain one and continue like normal with my double crochet in the next post and then I chain one until I reach of course my heart pattern. Now, I'm sure you noticed in the first one, I did the three stitches, the three double crochets in the one stitch, but in this row, I actually do two double crochet in one end, then a double crochet in the stitch in the middle, and then two double crochet on the other end. So there's one, that's two, and then my double crochet in the middle, and the last two at the ends and that's basically how it's going to continue for the rest of the heart where at the ends at the end stitches I'm just going to be doing two double crochet inside and then you just have to be very attentive to your pattern to pick up where you left off so like for the case of this row I actually ended with a chain one and then the next stitch in is a double crochet in that post versus in the first row where it was the three double crochets in one stitch but then that next stitch for the mesh was also a double crochet so it does vary depending on the row that you're on but for the most part in the heart you're going to be doing two double crochet on each end so at the first part and you're just double crochet each stitch in between and then at the last stitch you would do two double crochet again just so that you get a little bit more of a rounding in the shape of the heart and it's not so so rigid I guess it's a little bit more smooth but you'll see I, I just continue to do the same thing as I continue with the pattern
As you can see, once I make it to the other side of the heart, I make sure to double, triple check where I am in the mesh pattern just so that I don't mess it up because it does actually do a lot for the look of the heart at the end. If the mesh pattern is messed up, it really does affect the way that the heart looks. So you want to make sure that you continue the mesh pattern according to how it's going and you don't get too confused with the, <laughs> the solid heart in the middle because doing a double crochet one right after the other, you really do get used to it. But once you're paying, as long as you're paying attention to your mesh pattern, you, you should be good once you make it to the other end of the heart and you should have no problem with continuing keeping those straight lines in the mesh as well. Okay, we're getting to the point where we have to start shaping the arches of the heart. So in this row, you're actually going to see where I do the two double crochets in that first stitch, double crochet across, but once I reach the middle of the heart, I actually chain one and then skip that stitch and continue double crocheting until I get to the other end where I do the two double crochets in that final stitch and just continue with your mesh pattern. And this is where we're actually going to start shaping the arches of the heart. I'm sure you guys can tell during this video that I've struggled a little bit with this yarn. It's nice to use but it is a little thready or well, the threads separate very easily so it makes it a little bit difficult to get my hook in and out without catching extra threads that I'm not trying to get. I did try to you know roll it or to tighten it before I started the project but for some reason as I go crocheting it just gets looser. So it is a bit of a struggle, although it is super cute, but the, the, the threads are a bit annoying. So this is usually the last row that I make in my hearts just because I don't like it when it gets too crowded above the heart. But here you can see I'm just continuing my pattern like normal, making the mesh, making the heart. And I do come in a little more on the heart before I do the solids. But as you're seeing here in the middle, I'm actually re-establishing that middle double crochet from all the way at the bottom when we started the heart just so that every stitch goes back to being the stitch that it was before I started. So if it was a, a double crochet, it's back to being a double crochet. If it was a chain, it's back to being a chain stitch. But you can see it keeps the project super organized, makes everything look super nice, and I really do like seeing the solidness of the heart surrounded by the spaces of the mesh. It's super pretty. I'm so happy I made this.
And here's that final solid heart in mesh. It looks super cute. I really do love it in this yarn. Thank you so much for joining me in today's video. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you learned a lot like I did during this process. Hopefully your mesh heart came out a lot easier than mine did, even though the video looks like it's all one take. It took me a couple of tries to get it done, but thankfully I was able to figure it out and I'm so happy I was able to share that with you guys. Again, thanks for joining me in today's video. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content. And please don't forget to join me on Instagram at chaoticcurl underscore crafts. See you next time. Bye.